Hello and welcome to VR Reviews. Today we'll be reviewing the Play Arts Kai Deus Ex Human Revolution Yila Fedorova. So yes, here we have one of the Play Arts Kai Deus Ex Human Revolution figures. I've already reviewed Adam Jensen a long time ago, um, last year sometime I think. And I decided I'd go ahead and get the other two, so I have Yila Fedorova and I'll be reviewing uh, Barrett later on this week. They are cool figures, they're well articulated, well detailed, um, as Play Arts Kai figures are known to be. And I am fairly happy with them. So let's go ahead and zoom in on the articulation, sculpt, paint details, all those sorts of things. Alright, starting off with a quick size comparison. Here is Fedorova. Here is our standard Marvel Legends 6 inch Superior Spider Man. And there is the 3 and 3 quarter inch Marvel Universe Wolverine. Of course, Yila towers over both of them, as Player and Sky figures tend to be in a 9 to 10 inch sort of scale. Now let's take a look at Yila compared to her Human Revolution associates. Alright, here we have a size comparison between everyone in the series. Here's Jensen, here is Fedorova, and here is Barrett. Obviously, Barrett is a massive bastard and is much bigger and taller than the rest of the figures. Yila and Jensen are about the same height, but Jensen is a bit bulkier. Now let's get the other two out of here and just look at Fedorova. Alright, moving on to our 360 spin of Fedorova. She is mostly a very, very glossy black. Uh, especially on the arms and the legs. In her midsection, she does have some silver with some robotic sort of detail. She's got some white line work on her shoulder pads and up there on the top of her chest. Um, she's got fist hands on right now. She does come with an extra set of hands. She's got some sort of rubbery straps that come down off of her waist as well as lots of pockets and things on her belt there. She has her big, shiny, muscle-detailed legs, and then down there at the bottom, they sort of have that weird arched anatomy with the weird two-toe things. Not really sure what purpose that serves. I assume they make her run faster. But, uh, yeah, very interesting design with the legs. They look pretty cool. If I was going to have weird legs, I would probably have those weird legs. Anyway, that's about all for her body detail. Let's go ahead and zoom in on the head sculpt. Zooming in on the head sculpt, I believe it looks pretty good. She has that weird sort of half hair, half no hair hairstyle. I don't know if that has a name. If it does, I don't know what it is. Uh, the face sculpt looks nice. It's a fairly attractive face sculpt. She's got sort of a sinister, happy-ish kind of expression there. Um, you can see the shaving on that side of the head. That's all painted very nicely. Uh, for the most part, I think it is a pretty nice head sculpt. I have no real issues with it whatsoever. Now let's zoom out and look at some articulation. Alright, articulation-wise, Ela is very, very good. She has a, feels like a ball peg in the head, so that tilts up and down and rotates, and the neck piece also does the same thing. She has ball joint shoulders in and out, forward and back. She has the butterfly joint that moves in and out. She has a bicep cut. She has a ball joint elbow, so that rotates on both ends and moves in and out. Same thing for the wrist. Rotates, hinges in and out, ratcheted. She has a diaphragm joint here in the middle, which really doesn't do much other than rotate. It bends forward and back and side to side a little bit, but the most of that motion you're going to get from the lower joint, which does a much better job of just going around on its ball peg. Ball joint hips in and out, forward and back. It also rotates on the ball peg a little bit. She has those double jointed knees that Play Arts Kai uses. Um, I've seen worse looking ones, but I've also seen better looking ones. And she has these ball jointed, what you call those ankles, I guess they're ankles. So those rotate on both ends and hinge in and out. So articulation wise, she is pretty up to par with all the other Play Arts Kai figures I've ever seen. So she's pretty good. Fedorova comes with a couple of accessories and some extra hands, so let's go ahead and look at those. Apart from her fist hands, she comes with these trigger hands, which hold her machine pistol. She has two of each, but I'm only showing one because they're exactly the same. It has sort of a dark green and blackish sort of finish to the gun. Detail work is really nice. I'll flip the hand around so you can see the trigger finger on that side. Overall, they are very cool, and I believe they are the exact same gun she has in the game. Of course, I don't remember specifically, but I'm sure they are accurate. Now, let's go ahead and look at her other accessory, which is her stand. Here is Fedorova's stand. It is clear, and it looks a lot better than uh, the Play Arts Kai stands you're using nowadays. Of course, this is specifically for her. I have not mentioned this yet, but she cannot stand up at all. Her legs just aren't meant for standing up in action figure form. So uh, this will clip around one of her legs, and then there's also a little sort of slot here, and you can sort of sit her foot in that. And it makes her stand up fairly well. It's not tall enough, you can't really use it for a flight stand or anything like that, but it allows her to stand up, which is very important. Anyway, that about wraps it up for all of her accessories, so let's move on to the packaging. Packaging-wise, Fedorova comes in the same style of packaging that the rest of this series does, and other Play Arts Sky figures, I'm sure, although they do change their packaging around sometimes. You got your big window here, there's a little warning label up there. Deus Ex Human Revolution Play Arts Kai, you love Fedorova. 
You get some pictures of the figures on both sides. Then on the back, you get some poses for the figures and some warnings and things that I can't read, as well as a picture of Jensen and Barrett, which are the other figures in this wave. As is always the case with windowed boxes, these are good for in or out of package display. So yeah, Yila Fedorova. All right, that wraps it up for Fedorova. So until next time, goodbye. Hello, you've just watched one of my videos. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed my videos. If you didn't, run away. Run away and never return. Also, feel free to check out my other channels. Venom Raptor for all my variety gaming content and VR reviews for reviews of various action figures and collectibles. Thank you and goodbye.